like I was getting back to what I was saying, it all starts with just having a goal, seeing where you want to be in life. Now, I know you probably picture yourself, you know, in a nice car, in a comfortable apartment or a house with a family, you know, um, going to your nine to five or whatever career you choose. If not, you can, um, some people might pursue being a, a rapper, which is totally cool, but you have to believe <clears throat> And you have to do the work to get there. It takes dedication. It takes hardship and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get to where you see other people, you know, are. It's not easy. It's not going to fall in your lap. So please stop thinking that stuff is just going to fall right into your lap and all of a sudden you're going to, you know, come up with all this wealth and a nice family. No, it takes work. So what I suggest you all do is stop procrastinating. And I'm speaking to myself as well because up until now, but you know what? We can't change the past at all, okay? We can only affect our future. We can only affect things that are happening now. So forget who you were yesterday. Forget it. That's that's over with. You can't change it. That's that person that was yesterday. This is a whole new person, a whole new being. I don't care if it's the beginning of the year or in the middle or at the end. You can change your now. You can change now. You can't change the past, but you can change what you do forward to progress yourself. So I say stop being lazy and stop procrastinating. Do what you can do now because honestly that's the best way to do it. That's the best way to get stuff done is just doing it now and then you start seeing results. Putting in putting in work and that's the work that I keep and that you hear everybody talking about is just putting in work doing it now. You know what has to be done. For example another one of my goals is to have 50,000 subscribers on YouTube by the end of this year I've seen it done I've seen youtubers do it but I also know that they are constantly constantly uploading videos constantly putting out good new content um, for their subscribers and I've never been um, I've never been very consistent on my YouTube channel but that's a goal that I'm determined to reach I'm promising that to you all and I'm promising that to myself that I will reach 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year and I believe it and I'm going to put in the work to get there. So I can't be lazy. I can't procrastinate. Say, oh, I'll film this video um, some other time. You know, it's, it has to happen now. Like now is the time for us to put away all our excuses, all our just our laziness. And that's that's a big problem I have um, It's just laziness and not really wanting to get things done. I'm a last minute person. Um, not anymore. I don't speak that anymore. I was a last minute person. I, I love to work under pressure. But um, once I put my mind to something, it's hard to stop me. Matter of fact, you can't stop me from now on. And um, going into 2017, we need to leave certain relationships. We need to leave a lot of stuff in 2016. And uh, relationships can be a huge part in our development and our growth because some people will hinder our mindset. Some people will keep us in a state that is so, um, and I'm speaking for myself, you guys, this is a personal video, but I was in a position for four years <laughs> that really held me in a cage. I felt insecure, felt depressed, um, felt like I couldn't do anything. I wasn't smart, you know, and it wasn't all... Uh, I can't just blame one single person because, of course, it's me. I'm allowing myself to feel that way. But I was in a relationship, okay, not for the whole four years, but it was it was off and on. But um, I was in a relationship that was extremely toxic, you know, which we've been broken up for a while. I'm not going to lie. We've been broken up for a while, but I still, you know how you dibble and dab into old stuff and... <laughs> God was constantly pulling me out of the situation, jerking me out, saying, I told you so. Um, but I still felt like I'm going to give it a chance because you know what? Who knows why, what I was thinking. But God has revealed to me now that you have to leave certain stuff um, where you found it. And that's just, it is what it is. He has bigger, much bigger and better plans than you can ever think of. So I know this. I do know this. That's why I'm taking a whole different approach in 2017. And once you leave, once you leave people and relationships and places in 2016, this is so true when I tell you your world will completely open up. You will feel excited. You will feel brighter and lighter once you let go. Close that door. Leave those exes 
in 2016 okay don't be dibbling dabbling like I did and that's probably why I'm not at um, the place I uh, I thought I was gonna be at 21 you know there's this youtuber Jayla Corian like she is such an inspiration to me she has put like her whole life on YouTube as far as her school life her relationships her um, friendships like she's put all that on YouTube so I really kind of grew up with her um, definitely check her channel out Jayla Corian I will link it below because I think a lot of girls can benefit from her so I hope you guys took something from this video I hope I was able to motivate you just a little bit to make this year one of the best years of your life I want to push you guys sorry I'm talking so much but I want to push you guys to the fullest like stop letting time pass by just sitting back doing nothing make it's stuff we could all do to progress ourselves to progress our career learn learn stuff read just get in get in find your passion and follow it so I don't know you guys I, I'm just so excited about this new year I see a lot of positive things happening I see me going to a lot of different places countries like I'm not limiting myself forget that stop limiting <laughs> I'm not limiting myself anymore um, I know the things I want to do God has planned so much for me like I know this because I feel it you know and I'm, I believe it I'm so grateful and I don't want to get emotional but I've had big sisters my entire life you know coaching me saving me a lot of hurt a lot of pain and just putting me on game basically I'm so happy I can be that person to be that light to kind of guide you and motivate you and push us push all the girls and boys whatever men women to be better to to strive for better to reach heights that you know that people thought that would never happen just as far as being African American you know I am so happy I can be that light for you guys so anyway enough of that I just hope you guys got something from this video um definitely subscribe it's that red box hit that subscribe button it is totally free um so yeah make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it I would really appreciate that it helps me out so much just by hitting that thumbs up so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys very very soon bye